Hello, kids. I'm Captain AHS. Ever wonder why oceans shimmer or rivers twist and turn? Get ready to jump in, because we're about to explore Earth's coolest water features, where every drop holds a splash of adventure. Who's ready for a big adventure today? We are! Today, we're going to discover some of Earth's water features. What are water features, Baba? Water features are places where water gathers or flows on Earth. Ready to explore? Yes! Mama! Look at the river! It's moving so fast! Where does all this water come from, Mama? Rivers usually start from mountains or hills. The water comes from rain and melting snow up high, and then it flows downhill, sometimes joining bigger rivers or going all the way into the ocean. So the river starts small and gets bigger as it flows? Exactly. Rivers carry water from land to other parts of the earth. They help plants grow and give water to animals and people. Rivers are like big pathways for water. They never stop moving. And over time, rivers can even carve out valleys or create waterfalls. pool of water, Baba. This is a lake. It's a body of water surrounded by land. Lakes can be big or small, and they're often filled by rivers or rain. Lakes look so peaceful and quiet. Lakes are home to fish, birds, and plants. Some lakes are so big they look like oceans. Do lakes ever dry up? Some lakes can dry up if there's not enough rain, but others stay full because they're constantly being fed by rivers. Lakes are important because they store fresh water, which people and animals need to live. This water goes on forever! What is it, Mom? This is the ocean. Oceans are the biggest water features on Earth, covering most of our planet. The ocean is full of life, whales, dolphins, fish, and even tiny creatures we can't see. Look at the waves! Oceans are so huge and powerful! Yes, oceans are important because they help control Earth's temperature. The water in oceans moves around the world, carrying warmth from place to place. And did you know, the salt in the ocean comes from rocks on land? Rivers carry little bits of rock into the sea, which makes the ocean salty over time. Wow, I didn't know the ocean had so many secrets! Hasib have you ever wondered where all the water comes from and where it goes? From the sky? That's right. Water moves in a cycle called the water cycle. Water from rivers, lakes, and oceans heats up and turns into vapor, which rises into the sky and forms clouds. And then it rains back down? Exactly. When the clouds get heavy, the water falls back to earth as rain or snow, filling up rivers, lakes, and oceans again. So water keeps going around and around? Yes, it's like a never-ending loop. This cycle keeps the earth's water fresh and moving, helping plants grow and ensuring we all drink water. So rain, rivers, and oceans are all connected. 
That's right, the water cycle connects all of Earth's water features, keeping life on Earth going. We've learned so much today about water features. Water is powerful. It shapes the land, helps things grow, and moves around the planet in a never-ending cycle. I want to see more oceans and lakes. Now it's the time for quiz. Look at the picture. What is this fast-moving water feature called? Right. Rivers are long, flowing water features that move water from mountains to other places. Look at the image. What is this body of water surrounded by land called? Excellent! Lakes are large pools of water surrounded by land, often filled by rivers or rain. Look at the picture! What is this huge body of salty water called that covers most of Earth? The right answer is oceans. Oceans are the largest water features on Earth, filled with salty water. Rivers carry water from mountains to the sea. Is this statement true or false? Well then, this statement is true. Rivers flow from higher places like mountains and eventually reach the ocean or a lake. Lakes are always salty like oceans. Is this statement true or false? This statement is false. Lakes usually contain fresh water, unlike oceans, which are salty. Next time, we'll be diving into the world of rules, why we follow them and how they guide us through our adventures. Until then, keep an eye out for rules around you. See you on our next rule-filled adventure!